So before we get into what exactly a gravitational field is, let's talk about Newton's law of universal gravitation. So it can be summarized in the following statement. Any two particles that have mass will exert an attractive force on one another that is proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the center of mass of our two particles, our two objects. So for example, we have object number one with mass m1 and object number two with mass m2. Now these two masses will create a force, will exert an attractive force on one another. In other words, M1 will create a force on M2 and M2 will create an equally magnitude force on M1. So the magnitude of the forces will be exactly the same because it's given by the following equation. So the gravitational constant G multiplied by mass of object 1 multiplied by mass of object 2 divided by the distance between our uh, two objects between the center of mass of our two objects and squaring that distance. So the magnitude of force is the same but our direction is opposite. So both of the forces point along the axis connecting the center of mass of our two objects. This force points in this direction and the other force points in the other direction, in the opposite direction. Now for example Let's suppose M1 is the Earth and M2 is the following marker. So if I keep my marker here and eventually if I let go, what happens to my marker? Well, the Earth, which has mass 1, exerts a force on my mass 2, which also has mass, and pulls this object downward. So this invisible force is known as gravity. Now notice my object M2 also creates a force on my object 1, M1, the Earth. But because the Earth has such a large mass, because the mass of the Earth is so much larger than the mass of object number 2, my marker, the acceleration of the Earth is very, very tiny, unlike the acceleration of the marker. And so we can make the assumption that because our acceleration of the Earth is so small, we can say our Earth is in fact stationary. But you should know that our marker, the object number two, actually does in fact create a force on the Earth object number one. The magnitude of the two forces is exactly the same, but our direction is different. Now, in order to explain this concept of gravity, which is invisible force, we came up with something known as a gravitational field, or scientists came up with something known as a gravitational field. For example, if I take my marker and I push on my marker, my marker will move, and that's because a physical contact force is pushing, accelerating my marker. But if I let go, there's no contact force. There's no physical force pulling on my marker. There is, however, this invisible force known as gravity. And to explain this invisible force, we came up with a concept known as gravitational fields. So gravitational fields help explain forces acting over a, diff uh, over a distance, non-contact forces, such as gravity. So, once again, every mass creates a gravitational field composed of field lines shown here that permeate outward into space. And notice for gravity, the field lines point in a direction towards the mass because we're dealing with an attractive force. Any object placed into the field will feel a force that will pull it towards the object creating the field. So, we have the Earth creating this gravitational field pulling other objects such as our marker towards the center of the Earth. Now, how exactly do we calculate the magnitude of the gravitational field? Well, let's look at part three. We can measure the gravitational field by placing a small test mass 
m into the field and calculate the force F exerted on it. So if we calculate the force exerted on our object and divide that force by the test mass, by the mass of our test mass m, we get the value of the gravitational field. So the units are Newton per kilogram. Now notice the gravitational field is actually the same exact thing as acceleration. And we know this from Newton's second law of motion, F equals M times A. So F divided by M is the gravitational field, which is equal to the acceleration. So let's do one very quick example. Calculate the gravitational field for a test mass found at the surface of the Earth. So here we have our Earth. So we're assuming the Earth is a point mass. So it begins here and it permeates through space as shown here. So we want to calculate what the gravitational field is of our object found on the surface of the Earth. So let's suppose we have our force. So we take this equation, we bring it here. So what exactly is force? Well, force is given by this equation, by the law of universal gravitation. So notice that the mass of our point mass, this red guy, will cancel out. And the gravitational field is simply equal to the gravitational constant G multiplied by the mass of the Earth divided by our distance between the center of mass squared. So we simply plug in our knowns. This is a constant. This is also a constant. And this is a constant and we get approximately 9.8 newtons per meter. So this is the value of our gravitational field at the surface of the Earth. So every single mass, regardless of, of what the value of that mass is, has the following magnitude of field. And this is equivalent to its acceleration, which is given in 9.8 meters per second squared. But these units are exactly identical to, this actually should be kilogram. These units are identical to meters per second squared. So the gravitational field is exactly the same thing as our gravitational acceleration.